Middle East and start from there. Yeah. Really? Work our way across. Really, really okay. good. Yeah. We'll do about five extensions. Beautiful. I was thinking, Bean, she looks, she looks like a sort of an escape lizard from Pandora mixed with the frontier spirit of Matty Ross. And there's sort of, I don't know if there were, were sort of a jigsaw elements that you could think of when trying to, to get this character right. Well, uh, you know, interestingly, Gore had already decided on the physicality of the character and had even chosen the voice. He wanted her to sound like Holly Hunter meets Clint Eastwood. So for me, as an actor, I didn't have to create anything. I just stepped into his shoes and tried to facilitate the, uh, the lizard that he wanted. But I was thinking, in a way, you know, Gore and, and Johnny are buddies from Pirates days, and and uh, and then also John Logan, who who did Sweeney Todd with with Johnny, is there. Did it feel like you were kind of entering into their party? Because I'm guessing, in a way, they'd sort of fairly w much formed what they wanted to do before they approached people. Um, no, you know what? They everybody, you know, he he, Gore created such a. It, it was not I inclusive environment. You know, it wasn't as if. You know, they had their own shorthand and we weren't included. It was nice. It, you know, it, it was a surreal experience, definitely, because there were, you know, there was Bill Nye pretending to be a snake and Johnny Depp walking, you know, like this weird lizard. And um, But I, I thought it was creatively one of the greatest experiences I've had. Once I got over my initial nerves about having to, you know, act opposite Johnny Depp, I just would arrive at work in my sweatpants pick up a prop or a hat, a costume, something that would help me for the scene and, and just get on with it. It was great. Well, that was it. I, I heard that it was like the 20 days that, that, that Johnny was available. It kind of had to work around that. And then like that had props just to give you that sense of, of place and where you are. Because I guess like the radio actors, you've got to really close your eyes at least and believe. Yeah. Uh, was it, was it, so, I don't know if you've done much of that kind of work. Was it a, a different muscle uh, when it came to, you know, projecting the, Not the character? Not really. It's the same. It is the same. It's, you're acting whether you acting with your voice or you're acting with your, your person. It, I didn't think it was such a different, you know, I didn't have a different approach to it. I still work from the inside out and I still, you know, I still have worked out, you know, what my character ate for breakfast and I know that sounds pretentious, but I did all the lovey acting and stuff <laughs> to help me uh, stay in the role. Of course, Johnny's an arrogant swine, isn't he? He tends to be a very difficult <laughs> man to work oh, with. Oh, and he's so. so hard on the eye. I mean, oh, who yeah. wants to look at that? Wow. That must have been tough. I, I was thinking when I spoke to you last, I always got that impression with you that, you know, you had that fame growing up in Perth, you know, you moved there when you were six and, and that, you know, you had your novels from your, your mom had written and you wrote two sort of best-selling novels, you had Home and Away and then kind of going through the American thing then of, of Wedding Crashers and Confessions and all that, you always just seemed kind of removed from the, the, the fame side of it, as if that's not really a big deal. I mean, you're quite private about your, your family, about, you know, your life outside of what, what, what this is. Is, is, it, is that maybe the right impression that you're just not that uh, crazy about the, the red carpet life. Uh, yeah, you'd, you'd be pretty right on that. I, I, I honestly don't believe that people are more likely to go and see your movie if they know what you ate for breakfast or if you're talking about, you know, how your kids are doing at school, the magazines. So I think that's, that's sort of the practical answer. And also I'm not really, uh, you know, I think there's enough people out there that want to be in the limelight for all sorts of reasons and I think let them shine. But that, that notion of, of, of uh, I know with Sasha kind of um, sort of turned you on to the idea of comedy, more comedy in your, in your yeah. material because you've been going into dramatics more, but is it something that you, you, you kind of switch off at home? Because given that you're both, you know, active in this world, I don't know whether it becomes a slightly sort of, you know, part of the family kind of discussion that it's just one of those things or whether you try to, to disconnect entirely from... No, I mean, there's a lot of laughter in the house. There's, it's a lot of fun, you know, a lot of silly voices and a lot, you know, from everybody. <laughs> and, and that dedication to, 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 to Sasha and, and for, you know, for the, the, the sanctity of, of getting married and converting to Ju Ju uh, Judaism and, and changing your name to Ayala, was that something you even paused about? Because in, in most sort of showbiz sort of thinking, you, you must always be you know, completely a blank slate and, and, and a sense of that, you know, your private life in those situations like religion just don't come into the into the uh, play because they try to make you as available to everybody as possible. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not really a method actor. Uh, you know, I studied, you know, unlike, you know, going to, I didn't go to regular drama school, I went to clown school. And a lot of that is, a, you, you know, you kind of work from the outside in and, you know, so I don't tend to do that much, you know, that, that kind of work you know, for my characters. And so uh, I haven't let my personal life sort of affect my professional life in, in any way. Yeah. I, I should ask you, you were born in, in Muscat, Oman, and then, as I said, when six, with your Scottish parents, moved to 
Australia. And I would think maybe that would be part of the, the appeal of this life, that's an automatic thing of, of adapting to a new school. And I think your mom did uh, amateur yeah. dramatics too, which would have fed it. So yeah. Was it, a very, it was quite early on you, did, you made this decision that this was Yeah, the, the life, life that I wanted. I'm, I'm sure you're right. I'm sure I'm just recreating my childhood by here yeah, being a nomadic gypsy. Um, and I think too, because I moved school so often when I was young that I needed to in order to fit in and make friends quickly, I, I learned to sort of take the piss out of myself. Am I allowed to say that on camera? <laughs> yes. So um, that's why I'm always confident doing comedy. And uh, as, as, as the career progresses, you've been, I guess, you know, having another, a second child last summer, you're not going to be making like four or five movies a year, but is there a certain criteria about what, how you choose your roles now? Because there's, there's such a thing as the career in, in regard to success at box office, but then there's the career in the material that you like to do. I don't know if there's a plan or whether yeah it's just you know what I don't really have a plan and you know and I try now just to only take the work that I really really love only because I don't want to be away from my kids and so uh, so we'll see I mean I try to keep it all very loose and not put so much pressure on myself you know to have the perfect career because I I'm actually one of those people that doesn't think you can have everything I think you know something gives and for me obviously you know, my personal life is the most important thing. So, um, uh, you know, my priorities have changed. Very, very last thing. Got to wrap up. You got red hair and all that. No, it's Scottish. But can we pretend you're Irish? Because we need yeah, as many I sexy, talented <laughs> people as we can get. So if you could just pretend from now on that it's an Irish descent thing. All right. We'd beautiful. really appreciate it because we've very little to go that. on lately. I'll go on to I'm, my IMDB, whatever. Yeah, if you could change that. And you'll you'll and win change. an award in Ireland within a week. So you'll, you'll have a, some sort of parade. So it'll be worth it. <laughs> Rock and roll. I got to wrap up. Love you, Yeah. Good to talk to you. Cheers. Have you got a time here?